Hi to everyone. Uh, this is a short tutorial how to make machine simulation for four axis machines. And uh, I'm using the solid cam. And of course, um, this will be a short tutorial how you can do it. So for the beginning, I have here uh, a solid work files which needs to be converted into the STL files. Um, and of course after that I will show you how to build the post processor and then you can use the machine simulation and basically you need to merge the, 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 the machine simulation with the uh, existing post processor okay here I already open the, 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 the assembly and this machine uh, has two devices the first one is the spindle which can move along the Z and I have the table which can be moved about Y, X and here we have the C axis as well okay so <clears throat> um, the most important thing before you export uh, the, the SolidWorks uh, files to the STL is that you need to create a coordinate system um, from which every STL file will be imported I mean exported not imported exported and uh, every movement trans transition or rotation will be according to that point so the best position to, to put a coordinate system on this machine is in the center of this face on, uh, here and of course if your zero position of the devices is there then you should m make a, a mate to this position so I will very quick try to do that first I will open this part and what I need here is next <clears throat> let's go to this plane so I need plane which is on the middle of this one so I will very, very quickly define the plane which is parallel to this one and I should have here some point so I will very quickly define some point here it is I will accept that and I make sure that the point is the show of viewpoint is activated <clears throat> okay so new mm, where, yeah, plane which is parallel and second reference is this point and here we have it okay okay I, I guess that this is all what I what I need so the plane is visible make sure about that I will save it and I close it okay make sure that point you can see it. the planes also maybe the some axis and the coordinate system as well uh, no. Okay. What else should we set up? Uh, yeah, the spindle axis. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have this, this, and yeah, this plane I should see inside it. So I will just click here, save it, close it, and now I'm able to see it. Okay. So make sure that we do a correct mate. Here it is. Perfect. Now what we need to do, we need to put the face. Okay, so uh, okay, so let's let's open another again this part and create another reference plane which is parallel to this one and second reference will be this point. Save it. Exit. And I will make this plane with this surface. So here it is. Great. And okay. Uh, the one thing that I didn't tell you is that <clears throat> here we have one assembly of the fixture. So of course you can also export this to the STL file. And you will always be able to see the, the 
uh, the fixture there but uh, you don't have to do that SolidCam will automatically import uh, uh, the, the fixture when you, you are in the COM part so you, you can change the, 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 the fixtures you can do whatever he will automatically export it to the machine simulation so for the this because uh, of this I will just delete the fixture from this assembly yes of course okay now I will create here some reference point and then I will use this to to merge it but I'm not quite sure I will be able to do that yeah I, I, I will be okay don't worry about the, the, the collision the collision is fine so everything regarding to this point one will be calculated so in this point I need to create a coordinate system. This coordinate system will be exported with the STL files. Okay, so the x axis is this, let's say. The y axis is this edge, and the z should be uh, automatically switched. So I just flip it, and here it is. This is the coordinate system. I will say this, and here is the coordinate system 1. The next step is to export this, uh, these files to the STL but according to this coordinate system that we now created. Okay, I will do very quickly save as and I will not save it in the SOLIDWORKS files, I will go a little bit up and here I will create the folder which is very important, the name of it, but for now I will just very simple say for axis but you can do whatever you want but be sure that you don't use the spaces or um, you can use the underscores but not the spaces okay for axis double click you can change assembly prefix and make sure that the, the, the type is the STL so the next step is the most important the export option first what you need to, to check is that do not translate STL output data to positive space is checked. This needs to be. And uh, the second thing is the output coordinate system. And you just need to put the coordinate system 1 what we created now. Um, regarding to the other options is just about what will be the precision and the size of the parts. So I will leave this as the default. I will click OK and I will save it. Okay, when you go now to the to the folder, you will see the four axis folder, and here is the the STLs. What is the most important that you don't have some kind of very strange um, font like this one here. So please delete that and make something more simple. Okay, this should be good. Okay, perfect. Now <clears throat> we've done most of the job. The next part of the job is I just simply copy the VMID and PRP file without the GPP file. GPP file is basically for the for the for the G code. For the machine simulation purposes, we don't need that. Uh, we just simply need VMID or and PRP file from the 2014 SP1 you just need VMID because PRP is basically merged with the VMID okay so I will very simple double click on VMID and here I have empty uh, okay I already defined it but I will I would like to, to, to click on new yeah when I when you click on new by default you will have at least four axes but of course it's not good why because inside the VMID you need to to put everything uh, you need to put the kinematic of your machine for example here on the spindle we have one axis and this is just the Z axis and nothing else and of course on, on the spindle the tool will be mounted and on the table we have first Y axis then X axis and on X axis we have the C axis 
and this is the order how we need to define um, previously listed. Okay, so let's very fast. I, I will not go too deep into the, 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 the things. I will just simple create. Mm, I will leave the Z, so I will delete this. Yes, and I will change the name of this. So it will be just the Z. I will change the vector very fast. I will not go too deep into the limitations and the rapids, spins, and whatever. Let's go to the table. Here I have just the A axis. Mm, let's change it to Y axis because the next axis, the first axis on the, the table is the Y axis. Okay, so this is the axis vector, Y axis, rotation point we don't have. It. By the way, there is no rotation point because this axis is linear, not rotational. Okay, perfect. On Y axis, we have the X axis. And here it is. We just need to define the vector. That's all. Everything else is the same. Now, this is the, the three axis machine for now. What we now will need to do is to create a rotational rotary axis, which will be the C axis, let's say so. And the axis vector here is around X. So I'll say just around x. Rotation point in this case it's zero. Why? Because we put the coordinate system here. So if let's say coordinate system will be up here, you'll you'll have to define the, the, the z um, value for, for the rotation point. In this case it's zero. Okay. Uh, we'll talk a little bit later about the submachines. So for now I will just create one submachine which is 4-axis one, the name will be let's say 4-axis and the axis order is this is the Z, this is the Y, this is the X and this is the first rotary axis. I will save it and um, yeah now we come to the part where you you have the option to define from from 2013 SP5 of the solid cam you have an option to automatically define the machine simulation uh, how to say hierarchy okay uh, it's pretty good option but of course if you didn't define correctly the VMID everything what you exported will be wrong so pay attention on this I'm now I'm pretty sure that I, I define everything correct if not I will back again and define again so what you need to do go to the machine for the post processor we don't have anything ah okay so he wrote me again okay so for now I'll just save it and exit it now I'll just copy the link to this PMID and where the, 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 the the folder is not the files, the folder is, and I will open the SolidCam settings. Now, SolidCam will be loaded. So, I'm using the SP1 SolidCam 2014, yeah. And here in the, in the default CNC controller, I'll, I will paste the path to this post processor. So, you as you can see here is the name of the of, of the main controller okay and what i need to do also here in machine simulation you need to do the same if you want to this folder be loaded by that machine okay so very quick click ok okay now when i open the vmid file in the machine option the post processor when you click there is nothing why because you don't have any gpp file that's okay. Machine simulation name, when you click here, you'll be able to see the folders, um, which is 4-axis and SOLIDWORKS files. Of course, we have this, the STLs inside the 4-axis ones. So I'll click 4-axis. When you do that, you have an option. Right-click on machine, 
export to machine simulation. When you click that, you will now have any notification uh, about what have you done, but believe me, you, you do so. Um, when you go to the folder for axis, here you have for axis XML. The name of it needs to be the same as the folder. If it's not, he will not recognize the machine simulation. So this is very important. I'll copy this link and I will open the machine simulation. The machine simulation you can find the find it um, inside the solid cam directorium uh, and it's pretty easy to find it. So I will very quickly open this XML file. So I will paste this. Okay, here is our four axis. And you can see from the right side we have everything defined like on the target transform, station transform, everything with correct name with the tool. Here you can see it. And the Y, X, Z axis, everything is pretty good defined. With the, the, the changeable fixtures changeable target stock and everything. Okay, perfect. So what is our job now? Now our job is to define to put geometry for where it needs to be. So let's take a look. First, what is this? Um, no, I don't want this. Let's I first I want to in to put some housing. Okay, see this car car something like that. Okay, so I will put it here. Okay, I, I just need to go to the edit mode. Add geometry and add this. And this will be um, housing, okay. I put the name of it. When you unzoom in, you will be able to see the STL. Now, you maybe notice here I have machine housing icon, which is gray now. But if you add the prefix here, mh with underscore, which means machine housing, and save it, now you are able to see here that the icon is not uh, on any more gray. You have the option to, to make it translucent and to make it invisible. I will leave it. A default to be let's say 60% of the transparency so he basically have just invisible and that's all okay let's go back <coughs> let's see what we have here yeah also here you can see that we have some support magazine and the magazine is the, as well let's say part of the machine which is not movable so you can also put it uh, in, the, in, in the same way. So I will just right click, add geometry, support magazine, here it is. Of course you can change the, the color, or let's say something like this. And uh, this to be like uh, this, or maybe a little bit gray. Okay. This is uh, geometry just. Okay, for now, add geometry magazine. This is the magazine. You can also input the MH before this, and this will be noticed. So uh, I will change here the color to the red one. It's more better, I guess. Okay, <clears throat> the next step is to import some geometry for the axis. So, what we have here? We have also here one. Uh, Med drill here, elemental drill mill, which is not also not movable part. So I will add that as well. Add the geometry. Here it is. I will open it. And here it is. So the color is not really matter. Okay, let's go back. Now uh, let's see what we have. Okay, we have here the Z axis. Let's define first the Z. So it's mandrel. Okay, the name. And where I need to put it? Into the Z. So, mandrel. Here it is. Here is the Z. We can change the color. 
very light to do that. Perfect. I saw here the spindle or whatever. And now you can check is it moving or not. Go to the axis control and here you have the Z. Of course the limits are a little bit too high. So I'll go to the machine and then go to the Z axis and I will change the limits. So let's say so minus 2000 with um, plus 2000. Okay. It's pretty too high but it's better than it, what was previous. You can change this as well inside the, the VMID. Everything will be reflected. Okay, perfect. Now when you go to the axis you have here the limits. From 2000 to minus 2000. Now when I change the, here nothing happens because we are in the axis axis. But if, if I change to the Z, you can see how it's moving. Also you can insert the correct limit. Everything will be inside the limits. Perfect. And you can see that everything is moving according to the disk coordinate system what we created. Yeah, this is very and also in any case you can any time you can see the orientation of the of the coordinate system. Basically this is here. Okay, let's continue. Now what we have here another not movable part it's fixed. Okay, like that. Here it is. Good. Let's go back. What we have else? What is this? Two? No, yeah, this is the y axis. So it's moving along the y axis. So let's find the y axis, add geometry. But that, that's not the correct one. Yeah, here it is. I'll change the color for this. And I'll say just Y axis. Um, when you go to the axis control, you'll be able to see the movements. Perfect. Okay. Go to the machine. Let's go again. What we have here, the next is the, the X axis, which is this environmental one. Okay. X axis add geometry around one here is just a little bit another okay I will I don't want to see the housing okay great uh, X axis okay now here we have Also, which is on the X, but basically it's on on C uh, is the C axis, but it's not not rotating. If you have here another part, you can put that this is the C axis, but basically this is also the part of the X axis. It's on the X, so I will add here the X axis, which is or horizontal. Here it is. Change the color and the C. About the C axis, you don't have any geometry here because nothing here is rotating, it's just flat surface now for now. So the visualization will be well, not so perfect, but you will see the movements. Okay, did we forget something? I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. Now let's see. Let's check. Yeah, everything is here. Okay. So I will now just save it. That's all. And what we need is just to test it. So I will open simple parts. Hmm. Let's go to the my PC somewhere inside. Um, I should find something inside. Can not here. Sorry. 
public uh, public documents so it can like in 2014 users let's switch something like I know I cannot find any good part which is cylindrical one to, to show you the movements mm. let's let's create why we should not create the part let's create one okay let's create something like this pretty good part let's say 100 millimeter here <coughs> let's see instance some extrude 100 uh, let's add some sketch here insert some shape very important um, this will be just for construction I'll make this parallel and what I want to say here is uh, something like this and I want to cut it 40 will be enough 40 ok <coughs> good here is the part for test ok 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 Good. I will make one another sketch and create um, another cylinder from uh, up to surface, up to this surface, but I will not merge the results. So I will have basically two bodies. Okay, here is the boss, here is the solids. I will make this just a little bit uh, different. Uh, I will change the transparency. So this is the, my stock and this is my part. So I'll just simply save it as um, here as a test part. Let's try it. <coughs> okay. Uh, what else can I do here? I can insert one another. Just a simple pocket, let's say so. Just to test the three axes as well. So I said 65, it's fine. I'll insert some cut. Very simple. 15 millimeters will be fine. Good. Here it is. I'll save this. And I'll create a milling part for this. External, I'll say OK. OK. <clears throat> now, coordinate system. Here is the CNC machine, it's one and only. Define the coordinate system. I will put it at uh, center of revolution phase. Here it is. But if here will be inside the chuck, the, do you remember the, the coordinate system? The, the z-axis should be always up. So <coughs> let's change it. So I will rotate around the x. And uh, flip around Z. So basically, here is the, the orientation of the coordinate system. It'll, everything will be rotated around the X. So I will just accept this for now. Okay, perfect. I think that here everything is fine. Simple informations. Okay, what is our stock? Our stock is 3D model, not the box. So I'll just go to the 3D model. I'll just simply select the, the solid that we have. Not so face the tolerance, it's 0 0.01, it's enough. Uh, but so the target is already defined, so I don't need to, to, to go to, to create it all, or maybe, yeah. So I need to delete the solid one. So just the solid two is a target. Okay. Perfect. 
Okay, right. <clears throat> By the way, I don't know why I have the box. Okay, so the first step, of course, we need to decide how to put um, the the how the the, the the tart is mounted on on, on inside the chuck. Basically. Where is this coordinate system according to the machine coordinate system, what we created? So just simple operations, machine setup. And here I need to decide where it is. Okay. So if I want to, to, do, to be here. So here, if here is the coordinate system, I just need to say something like this. The x is minus to this position. So I can go pick X, I can pick here, it's 100, I just need to say minus here. I say minus. Okay, that's it. You see when, when, when you click to show, here it is. Here is the point. So here is here will be mounted. Perfect. I'll click OK. And now I will make simple let's say so face operation I'll click OK New. I'll click the face click the define um, define the face this is the face that I want to, 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 to work with it here is the OK OK I agree I don't like the face operation, but what the hell. Okay, let's go to the select. Uh, let's select some. Okay, this is a little bit smaller. Too. Let's say something which is not good, uh, but it's pretty large. Okay, 25, 16, 25. I'll leave 25, whatever. Put some folder. Net. This is too. Uh, why I cannot see anything? No. I'm pretty sure that sh here should here I should see something, but whatever. This one is okay. So basically, on the the not on this face, but on the upper top surface, the tool will be mounted. So I will just simply select it. Data is not so important. The upper level is, yeah, this one. It's automatically selected, and the face depth is still this, forty-three point three. Okay, it's not green. Yeah, are you sure? I want to be the green. Okay, the green means synchronization. Okay, if you if you don't know what is synchronization, please check the synchronization uh, tutorial given by Sydney Eastern on, on YouTube. Uh, Solid Camp Professor, I'll, I'm sure, pretty sure that you will find out what is that. Inside the technology, I will not change here anything. Also, on the lead in, let's just insert it the tangency. Here, zero. Here, something like 20. Same as lead in. Save it, let's see what we have here. Okay, I don't want to do like that. This is why I said I don't want to be the face, so I'll very I'll delete that. Delete. Of course uh, we are able to do that, but I'm really more like the pocket. And I'll select new. I'll select the chain, I will mark us uh, out to const Z. Is this fine for you? Yes, I, I, I'm very fine for that. But I will mark an open edge like this one, this one, this one. So you can see that now they are blue, uh, the, the, the black, and this one the rose. So this means it's open. It's open. Okay, I will accept that. Accept. Go to the tools. Select the previous one. The levels. Upper is good, pocket depth is good, equal step down. Okay, minimal overlap contour. We want to go from the outside. 
with the open approach from the outside and that's all. Let's see what we got. Yeah, now this, this is much much better. Okay. Let's see what we have in machine simulation. I hope that everything is work fine. Okay. Perfect. We can turn off. Here it is. It's very good mounted. Everything is perfect. You can see here. You can always see the stock. And one by one. Here it is. And the tool is moving perfectly. Yeah. And here is the holder, everything is mounted. Good. It's working. Let's see how it's working with the four axis. I will go here, we have the transformation. I will add some four axis movements. Let's say Three steps. Okay. Um, okay. I can do all the steps, but I don't want from you to see it. So, uh, so I will just want to do the three with uh, sixty. For at one, two, three, four. Yeah, sixty. And uh, I will insert it. So first one will be from the. Okay. So I need to include the first one and to delete this one. Okay. Okay. Same calculate. Seeing the machine simulation. And let's see the movements. It should be okay. Okay, so you can see the the toolpath. Let's see very quickly the movements. Okay, perfect. Now he's rotating and doing the same. I don't want to see the work piece. I want just to see the stock. Okay, and here it is. Now the question is, you don't want anymore to to work um, on on the C axis. You want to put this part here. So how you can do that? Now I will show you. First, what we need to do is. To define another machine, submachine, which is three axis one. So I will very quickly define the three axis submachine. But in the axis order, I will just not include this the C axis. So basically, we have just the three axis. I will save it, but we are not done yet. I'll just save it for now, but we are not done yet. He'll reopen everything, of course. I will go back into the um, this assembly. Okay, I will rebuild everything. Blah blah blah. Uh, delete this one. I want to. And my question is, where is my? Ah, I think that we didn't save the the the, the, the assembly, but the I know that. It's somewhere here along the, the Z. So the question is, where is, where do you want to put the coordinate system for the three-axis machine? Where on the, on the, on the table? And I'll just simple measure how how far away we are from the table from the center point of the C-axis. So we are 170. Okay. And how far away from the, the this phase? Let's see how how much we have here. We have 581.25. So let's put something like 350. Okay, 350 and 170. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, let's go back into the test part and let's add it this inside the coordinate system 
or the tracks. So I will not change the vector. The vectors that are fine, like in the, the previous. So I will just change the position, which is in minus 350, uh, like we said, and into the z minus 170. And okay, perfect. I will save and exit. Now what we need to do because this is another um, setup or let's say uh, another clamping so we want to, to change it and put somewhere else to put like this correct the z-axis is not anymore like this it's on the on the top so what I need to do is to create another Mac Mac 2 position 1 to put it on, a, on the top center of the model box click here here is now the Z the X and another things are not so important now so I'll just accept it click OK now we have two max which means two another fixtures so I will now say like this create for me another machine setup after that and here I have setup 1 or let's say setup this will be setup 2 and this will be setup 1 so I create another setup now I have two submachines and I need just to change for the three axes so let's go back here I'll change the axis to a little bit 350 minus 350 and for the Z it's uh, minus 170 Mm, did I say correct or not? I say correct, but here on, 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 on this I need to put like this. Here automatically reverse the, the, the position. So here will be the current system. Okay, so, but where is now this current system according to the, to my come part coordinate current system? I want to put it here or if I have here some kind of fixture I will need to calculate that fixture as well so I will say I will say just without that I will go pick Z pick that pick here oh what is this sorry uh, it's I totally forgot we need to change the, the, the Mac to the 2 now we're gonna go to the pick Z and click here he will mark minus 100 and here it is 100 because from this coordinate system to this we have 100 I will say ok and now you can simple create some milling operation like profile say Mac 2 uh, in 3 axis I want Mac 2 create new the profile is something like uh, this this is the edge I'll accept it but I want to reverse it you can also use new option F5 accept it tool will be the same I hope it's it's okay it is okay mm, maybe it's it's maybe the cutting length I, I, because here we have cutting length it should be 40 so we will get some errors maybe I can just use Save and copy. Here I will put some 45, here 50, and so on and so on. Yeah, now it's much better. Okay. The levels are this is the top, so it's zero, and the profile depth is here. But I will, I will put. Okay, perfect. Technology. I'll do just with the finish. Let's do some arc. Let's play a little bit. I'll put five. Same. Let's see what we have here now. Yeah, perfect. Let's create a little bit large arc to just to be able to see. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So let's see what is in the simulation. Here is the part. We, we can see updated stock and here it is 
the table is moving here it is perfect if you want to add some fixture I, I, I want to show you how to do that uh, you can insert I will open this fixture let's say so hmm support it uh, let's add the, there is some assembly no here it is okay now of course I don't want to oh I can move it <laughs> perfect um, I'll just open it I'll go to the my com part and I will just simply use component and uh, here is the fixture okay and I will very quickly put it here I will make some alliance uh, let's go mate okay I want to see the, the planes so okay I want to see also inside the, the, the part design model I want to see the, I don't want to do that. Delete this one. I want to do it with this one. Yeah, it's, this is pretty okay. What else I can meet here? Mm. Let's don't meet anything else. I will just move it by my mouse. I hope that it's fine. So let's say something like this. Okay. Here, here will be. You can play around with with the mates, but this is okay. Okay. When you define it, you need to create a fixture. There is two ways. You can go define the fixture and then load it inside the setup, or you can just go to the setup and define the fixture like this. But be sure that you are in cor correct. Sorry, be sure that you are in correct submachine. So I want the the, the fixture for my submachine, and um, you just need simple to to click on the on the parts. We have three solids. That's fair enough. Here we have the clamping fixture. Everything is okay. But now the Z is not correct. So I'll just pick the Z. Now this is the Z. Three. 206.8 I'll simply click OK click OK now what you need just to define to calculate it and run the simulation and machine simulation and now you will be able to see the fixture as well uh, but not why why I cannot see the fixture but here it is it should be here no it's here it's here maybe I forgot something I don't know show me it's okay it's here maybe because it's not defined correctly I want to see something in the machine simulation okay machine let's go down work piece fixture adapter is here Magazine is the define it correctly. Everything is defined correctly. Why I'm not able to see the fixture? Did I do something wrong? No, I, I'm not quite sure. Okay, let's go to the setup. Clamping fixture is here. Here it is, I can see it. Picture one, I can see it. Yeah, it's correct. Mac 2 position one. Picture. It's weird. Why it's not working? Maybe it's a bug. Yesterday I know that it, it works on 2013, so I never checked on 2014. So don't mind. Simulate machine simulation should be there. If not, then I will try to. No, there is not. 
then I will try to run the simple solid verify. Yeah, so it's it's a simple bug. So I, I know that this 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 one hundred percent work. If you can see it in solid verify it should be the same in the machine simulation. You don't have to define anything specific. Oh here it is. Yeah this is a bug. It's uh, mounted on, on wrong submachine. So this is wrong. Okay. Let's check maybe I do something wrong but I hope not. This is the third. Mark 2 position 1. Okay, let's calculate. This is the weird. Maybe, maybe, maybe now it's, it will work. Yeah, this is. <laughs> I tried this on 2013 and it, it works perfectly. So this, this I need to, to to report it. Okay, okay. I hope that you enjoy. Um, if you have any more further question, I will be very glad to to answer on them. Um, have a nice day. Bye.